Hi everyone, this is Hebe from My Little Journal and、um, happy National Scrapbook Day. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are enjoying your time scrapbooking and crafting. I'm personally very busy. I will not be crafting, but I wanted to post this video to say happy National Scrapbook Day. I'm going to try to go live on Instagram tomorrow.、Um, hopefully that happens and I can squeeze that into my busy schedule. Um, so, keep an eye out for that if you want to see me live. But today I'm going to be sharing this wonderful layout that I was documenting in my traveler's notebook. I'm going to be using the new Spellbinders、uh, Glimmer Hot Foil Kit Club. It was a beautiful, or you can see it there, it's a beautiful frame with a die cut that you can cut out the center of the frame and a little bit of embellishment. I love this frame. I'm going to be using it to frame a photo of my son and his friends from prom night. Now, also, Spellbinders has an amazing discount for you guys. If you subscribe to the Kit Club, you get 10% off and you can add your Glimmer Hot Foil machine to your cart and get 10% off that as well. So, definitely recommend it.、Uh, check it out. I think that's an amazing deal. That Glimmer Hot Foil machine is one of my favorites. I just love with foiling everything. You can see how beautiful that frame turned out. I just foiled it with the gold that came with the kit. I'm trimming down my photo because I want to make sure that you don't see the sides of my photo once I frame it with the frame. I'm going to actually put the frame and photo aside because I'm going to be using last month's kit club、um, and it was a bunch of alphas, beautiful. And I really enjoyed using it last month. So I'm gonna go ahead and foil my title. My title is gonna end up saying, You are a star. So I'm gonna end up foiling some of these letters、um, multiple times, but I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. It takes a while. Well, not a while, honestly, but、um, this video would be way too long. And once I foil up all my alphas or you know, my title, I'm going to actually fussy cut around my alphas. Last time I did that, it really made everything pop and I really like that look. So I'm gonna do it again. Of course, again, I'm not gonna make you watch me do it. I don't mind fussy cutting, I think it's very soothing, but I know a lot of people hate it.、Um, hopefully, they'll come out with a die cut to go with these alphas. I got everything done. I'm gonna grab my traveler's notebook and I'm gonna end up using this beautiful pattern with all the stars.、Um, because my title says you are a star, I just thought it was fitting, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm not going to stick down my title yet because I'm not 100% sure that's where I want to set it, I guess. But I will go ahead and stick down my frame and photo. And at this point, I felt like I needed more stars. I needed to back up my frame with more stars. So I remembered that I had some acetate stars in one of my drawers. So I'm going to go into that drawer, go through my stars, try to match them with the stars that are already a part of the pattern. And I'm going to grab my Xyron machine and put them through my Xyron and start sticking them down. Now, I change my mind a lot when I'm working on the background with all these stars. I was just really trying to balance everything out. I didn't want to overwhelm the frame and the photo. I still wanted it to be simple and more like a background than, you know, in your face kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking some down, removing some. I, you know, go back into my acetate drawer and grab different colors just to make everything look kind of cohesive and balance out all these stars. You can see that I went back into my drawer of acetates and actually grabbed a few more. Just felt like I needed to add a blue one, probably more green. And、uh, I don't mind changing my mind a few times while I'm working on a background. It happens. It's really、um, hard to kind of balance things out properly. 
um, in one try. Sometimes I do change my mind and I end up like, you know, removing some and adding new ones or different colors. Um, and that's the beauty of the Xyron machine, by the way. Even if I went ahead and stuck it down and then I decide I don't like it there, it's not going to tear my paper. So I love that. I love, um, you know, tape runners or something like the Xyron that you don't have to kind of commit to it. You can always remove it and switch out your mind or change your mind, sorry. You got to see right there that I flipped over my traveler's notebook. I totally forgot that I had my title and I didn't stick it down yet, but that's okay because I'm just gonna go ahead and add the alphas through my Xyron as well. Uh, it makes the process so much easier. I do try to get all the alphas um, a few in one try so I don't waste any of my tape. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down my title. It makes it so much easier. I've said this before, I don't know why I waited so long to grab one of these Xyron machines. They are perfection. I might be grabbing the larger one as well. I'm going to grab my phrase booklet to add a few words and phrases on my stars and underneath my title. Now I decided to add it underneath my title to finish up my title. And I also decided to add these stickers or these word stickers to my stars because I felt like my stars were a bit too bright. And I thought adding the stickers would kind of mute them down a little bit. I also decided to grab some puffy hearts in gray just to add a little texture and also help mute down those stars. But to finish up my layout, I'm going to grab my black crystal drops and add a few drops to my frame just to kind of add more texture and depth to my frame and to my layout. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget, you get 10% off if you subscribe to the new Glimmer Hot Foil Kit Club. And you could get that 10% off your Glimmer Hot Foil machine. As always, I add all the links in the description box for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.